Hey Milo, you ready to go? Hey guys, this is we got this month's question and answer video with a disgruntled kitty cat. She's always grouchy when we do these. She's kind of been grouchy all week this week. I'm not sure why she's had such such a dirty cat look at me all week. She might not be enjoying her diet. She's not on that much of a diet. It's just that I'm making sure she's not getting a lot of extra food. So far, our automatic feeder is working out great. She gets, we've, we've, we've worked it out. I've got it where it dumps food out for her every four hours. So she gets new food every four hours, 24 hours a day. Don't you? And it's measured in a 24 hour period. She gets the half a cup that she's supposed to have for her body weight. Don't you? And then you also get your wet food that you like in, in the evening, don't you? Yeah, it is weight management food, but she's not terribly overweight yet, but I think we're working that way. So we're trying to nip that off before. So we're just really at maintenance, weight maintenance, not really weight loss. She could stand to lose maybe a half a pound, maybe, but it's not that bad. Which I definitely, we're, we neither, but we both need to be on a diet. This is a very sedentary life, lifestyle, so it's hard to, hard to eat healthy, and it's hard to manage our weight. Yeah, so we're both working on that a little bit. But I have um, our question and answer, questions for this month. Don't have, but I really only have, literally have two this time. I, it's very possible that if you've asked me a question, I failed to write it down, entirely possible. I try to write them down as soon as I see them so I can compile a decent list for the month. But I think it is entirely possible I missed one or two. So um, let's go over the couple that we've got. First one I have is, do I haul any one thing more often? Well, for the last couple of years, I've been doing just boats. I really like doing boats. They're easy. Um, it is one of those things I like to do. I, if I'm not doing boats, I am a flatbed driver. I drive a flat truck that, or a flat trailer. Haul mostly construction materials, a lot of plywood, shingles, pipe, st uh, st steel, flat steel, steel coils structural steel that it's it's almost all all construction type material that that I haul 
when I'm doing flatbed. But then just, just doing boats here for at least two years, if not maybe a little longer now. I'll do that until we run out of those loads and they take us off the account and then I have to go back to do flatbed stuff. And let's see. This is a neat this is this is an interesting um question that I actually meant to do a little research on and I forgot. But the question was that the uh, this person said they had read a book, a fictional book about a network of truck drivers that were used to move women to far places to get away from abusers, and she wanted to know if that was based on real events. I have absolutely no idea, but I wouldn't be surprised. I've never heard of that. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. So I don't know if that was based on true events or not. Truck drivers nowadays, though, are, at least for in Kansas, and I think, I think a lot of other states are doing it too, require us to take a short course on truckers against trafficking where they try to bring awareness to be able to spot people that are in um, the sex trafficking trade and help them get out of it people that are trapped or you know they, they can't get away from that so get phone number to call if we see somebody in that type of situation to try to help rescue them out of that situation i not ever run across that myself, but I would not be somebody that would be approached. Uh, it just so it's not somebody that's going to approach. I'm not going to be approached more than likely for these young women that are that are caught in this situation. And I also do not go typically stay in truck stops in major cities, which is where that type of activity would be more prevalent but um something like the situation that that book was based on i wouldn't be surprised about but i know nothing about it i have heard however about truck drivers that help transport rescue animals across the country to the to new ho new owners so, and i don't know I don't remember now where if I talked to somebody that was doing that or if I read it somewhere, if it was in a Facebook group. I have no basis right at the moment on how I know that, but I, I have run across, I have run across that. So I wouldn't be a bit surprised. You're growling at me. Why are you growling at me? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm, I'm, I'm scratching your ears and petting you and you're up on the, on the body pillow that you like so much that you're getting kitty fur all over. Yeah. yeah. It's just that I'm making you stay in one spot. We do this every time. She doesn't like to be kept up in one, in one place. Oh, and her tail is just a flopping. Her so angry. Are you angry? You want to play with your light? She just got slow angry blink. Believe it or not, she has slow angry cat blinks. Okay, here. Oh, let me let go over. Look what I got. This is her, um, this, this laser light toy. We've had several laser light toys. Power Aurora, I think is what that's called. I don't think that's what it was called in, um, Power, Pause Aura. Oh, excuse me. Pause Aura. Um, I do not believe that's what it was called in um amazon is where i bought it from but so far i think this is our most versus there's cat hair stuck on it most versatile one got a little thing to put catnip in not tried that because milo doesn't like catnip but the button it's oh and it's usb charge instead of double a batteries that's nice put the button here to turn it on Little thing so it goes around. It's got two speeds. Or steady. Steady's handy. Because you can do that like. You gonna come back up here? You can do it like just a laser pointer. Oh, right. There she is. So, hey, you can use it like a laser pointer. You gonna, you gonna get it from the ceiling? Not the ceiling.
<laughs> on the wall. Put that back there on the wall. Come on. Silly girl. But you push the button, it, it has the going around. It's got a fast speed and a slow speed. And and it's in a standby mode. And standby is pretty cool because then she can bat it and turn it on herself when she's ready to play for it. And what I like about it is it doesn't chirp. Our other one that she could turn on by herself chirped, which was not something I want to hear at 2 o'clock, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. So this one doesn't chirp. She can turn it on herself. We've got multiple play modes with it. I bet you. All right, guys. Well, I think she just wants to play now, and she doesn't want to participate in our, our question and answers anymore. So, oh, I think this is the slow mode. All right. I think she, she just wants to play. She's not interested in participating with us anymore. So you guys all have a great day. And we will talk to you again on Monday.